everyone, this is Svetlana. Welcome to another Altenew video. In this video, I will be sharing a fun background technique featuring Altenew liquid watercolors, which you also may know as watercolor brush markers refills. Recently, I shared this holiday card featuring this technique, and I had several people asking to make a video for it, so I decided to quickly make one. There are several ways of doing this technique. I will show the way I personally was applying it. I will be working on the Altenew silicone mat, as this technique is rather messy, and uh, on a white surface it's easier to see the mess when it's time to wipe it off. Ok, so for this technique you're gonna need a small bowl with uh, clear water. My bowl is about the size of a cup, and I found this size working very well for this technique. As far as the uh, water amount goes, a quarter of a cup should be enough. Also, you will need a dishwashing soap. I happened to have one in my craft room, pour it in this small jar. But this is just a regular, very cheap dishwashing soap. Also, you will need a liquid watercolor. Of course, I'm using here the Autumn Blaze liquid watercolor from Altenew. The last tool that you need for this technique is a straw. And of course, you need a watercolor paper to create your background on. First, I will be mixing all wet ingredients. I'm adding a little amount of the soap to the water. Totally eyeballing it. There is no strict recipe for this mix. Next, I'm adding several droplets of the liquid watercolor, maybe about four or five. And then I'm stirring all ingredients together. Now comes the fun part, making bubbles. I put the straw into the water and started blowing to create bubbles until they rise over the rim of the bowl. Then I'm taking the paper and kind of picking up the bubbles with it. After the pop, you can see that bubbles texture or design, if you will, gets transferred onto the paper. Now, I was holding the bowl in my hands for bubble generating demonstration. But normally it's better to have the bowl standing on your desk. If you hold it in your hands, the water will shake, causing the bubbles to pop quicker than we need. So, for the rest of the video, I will have my bowl on my desk all the time, and while blowing, I will need to bring my head into the filming area. And I don't want my messy 12 am hair to be featured here. So, I will be cutting my head out. Well, not my head actually, but it's footage. And you will see new bubbles from time to time magically appearing in the bowl. I hope it's okay not to show the blowing process, but I believe it's pretty straightforward and I don't think there is can be a wrong way of doing it. Okay, so I keep generating bubbles and uh, picking them up with the panel until I completely cover the panel with bubbled design. Next, I'm drying the panel using my heat tool for this. I need it to be born dry before moving to the next step. And the next step is the same as before. The only difference is that uh, this time I'm using the crimson liquid watercolor. I made a new mix with this watercolor following the same recipe of water, soap and uh, watercolor. It's important to have your paper dry, as uh, if it's wet, the added watercolor will simply spread out and you may lose the bubbled design. You can see that this layer is more intense in color. Here I used even less water, but added a couple more droplets of the liquid watercolor. It's obvious, of course, that you can get different variations of the color intensity by varying the amount of water and watercolor. On this point, I finished building my background. I pour in the rest of my mix into a jar to use later if I need. Since the background I got turned out to be quite busy, for the rest of the cards I decided to go simple. I've trimmed the panel and four mounted it onto a white card base. 
Then I cut a white frame using the freely frame die, as well as a white hacks word using the script word die set. And then I'm adhered both elements onto the card, which I finished off by adding several white crystals. That would be it for today. I hope you like this technique. It's a very fun one and the result is very unique. If you have any questions, don't hesitate asking them in the comment section below. Have a wonderful day! Bye!